Hey y'all, it's your girl Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and I am here for your Capricorn November 2016 monthly general telescope. This will be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general reading. If this is your first time visiting, thank you. Welcome to the family. Um, I will be doing a fairly short, uh, small spread today. I won't do the 10 card. I'm going to draw one card for general, one for career, love, and finances, and health, and then we will use, um, got a new card, got a new deck, self-care cards by Cheryl Richardson. I know it looks a little backwards, but that's what it says, and I will be using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland, okay? Let's just get into it. Let me do some before I went to work this morning, so we can see what we have for Capricorn. I need a card to fall out, Capricorn. Hold on, children, and let me get your self care card. Let's see for Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Off the bottom. All right, Capricorn. Cappy Cappies. Let's see what we have. Ooh, y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so listen. Um, oh, let me look at the card. Wow. Okay. So the card that fell out was equivalent to the Eight of Cups. You have the moving on card. So I feel like you are leaving a situation. I feel like a lot of you are going on your own personal spiritual quest. I feel like for some of you, um, it seems like I told you guys in the month of October that you uh, really need to focus on being on your own or being by yourself or being just hanging out with yourself. I feel like if you, it feels like you may have started or well, yeah, you started doing that in October or maybe just even started to entertain the idea. But I feel like November is going to be that time when you actually do it because it, this is a very, this is a movement card. Eight is movement. Um, it is interesting. And I, I know you're moving on to something spiritual because you have out of all of your cards, general career, love, finances and health. You have a major arcana cards the whole month. OK, so November is going to be a very pivotal month within uh, regarding your spiritual growth, Capricorn. I feel like with the general energy, I do like this with the sun card here. Um, you have what's also called shine is that um, you're ready. I feel like a lot of you are ready to live within your own truth. A lot of you are facing your truth. A lot of you are letting. Um, I feel like you're going to be finding out new things about yourself or about um, people within your environment. I feel like um, you're letting, you're choosing to let a lot of dead energy or dead relationships, dead thought patterns, you're choosing to let a lot of those things go. There's, it's like a rebirth. Yeah, it, it's a rebirth. I feel like uh, within your career, I feel like this is what I feel. I feel for my Capricorns that whatever old way that you were used to behaving or acting or believing in, it's done. You have, you're being forced to move to something new and it's okay. Like you've been fighting against it and fighting against it, but now you're just like, you know what? All right, I'm going to try to see what, what happens and I'm just going to let everything go and I'm going to move forward. Um, and it's major. Remember I told you you're moving away for, um, 
you going on your own. I feel like with these five major arcana cards, this is an external struggle. I feel like you've had so much going on externally within your environment that you you realize that you're you're making the connection that in order for you to change your environment, that you're going to have to change you. It's going to start from within. And I feel like maybe something within October or it could be coming in the month of November, something something clicked for you something clicked and now you realize like okay i cannot control everybody around me i cannot control the circumstances or well, more so the people i'm not gonna say the circumstances i feel like you're you're learning that it's your outlook that needs to change and when your outlook changes then your reality can change and you're willing to take that first step to keep to move forward okay um i feel like for some of you with Within a career manifest, uh, this is a magician. I feel like you're, okay, you're trying to make something work within your career. Let me get another card. I feel like for some of you, you're trying to you you're trying to get back to that point where you actually enjoyed what you do. For those who work, it could be whatever. Um, I feel like for some of you, you just you've gotten a little disenchanted with your, your work life. And so I feel like a part of this transformation is developing a new appreciation. You have the six of cups. I'm sorry. Simply love, um, developing a new appreciation for why you entered the field. I feel like for some of you, you are really thinking about going back to school. Let me get one more car, spread your wings. Yes. You're a little, um, you're ready to try something new with when it comes to your career. Now, that may mean that you, I feel like some of you may take on an extra job. Some of you, it is the holiday season coming up in the U.S. Um, some of you may actually, I feel like some of you are going to be offering yourself up for extra projects. Or some of you, you're really trying to get into learning another aspect of your job, another um responsibility only because you need to change up something. I feel like for some of you, um, some of you are being reminded of, some of you are being reminded of your, I feel like your father is coming to mind during the month of November, um, or your mother, but I feel more masculine energy. This is a general reading. Someone who you watch, maybe a grandfather, someone who you watched work very, very, very hard. And it, it seems like they just worked the meat off of their bones. That's what I'm hearing. They, they just worked until they could not work any longer. And while you appreciate their their strong worth ethic and their tenacity you also recognize that they never had time for themselves that, that that's all they did was work and i feel like for some of you that's not where you want to be that's not how you envision your life yes you don't mind working but you also realize that there has to be a balance and um you you want to be able to develop that balance because i feel like for some of you you've been working 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 and you you haven't had time for your children and i feel like it it, it 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 just something something clicks within your mind during that during the month of november it's like you know what i'm turning into dad i'm turning into mom and you don't want that you want to be able to have um be within a career or a career minded a, a career mindset a mindset re regarding towards your career that is not limiting to just work you need something that is going to allow you to branch out. You maybe need flexibility. You know, some of you may be saying that to your manager. Listen, I need to, I need to, uh, if possible, flex my schedule. Or you need to have flexibility when it comes to maybe telecommuting. Telecommuting. Um, some of you may need to work remotely at another location. But I feel like you need to be all. You, you just need to to be. I don't feel like you're going to be in one central location. You need to go. Um, it feels nomadic. That's the only way that I can describe it. But I feel like you you have to do that or you feeling like you need to do that um, 
in order to spend more time with family. This is how your career interacts with your family. What's going on within your love relationships? You have the confront card. I feel like, you know... I, I feel like there are it's going to be room for confrontation during the month of uh, November, but I feel like it's healthy confrontation. I feel like it, even if you're single or if you are in a relationship, you're looking at what you have, where you have been and where you are going, and you're really trying to decide what needs to um, be improved at this point in time. I feel like a lot of you are really going to be taking a look at... Um, this is a month all the way through, y'all, that I feel like like childhood issues are really going to be coming into play. And I feel like this is the time, maybe this is what you've been putting off, and now you're ready to confront them, okay? Because you're seeing how some of the, because I just spoke about within your career, you're, you're noticing, you know, how those how you felt as a child if your mom or your dad couldn't make your game or they, they didn't have enough time because they were to attend to you to help you with homework or whatever, or maybe they just weren't around a lot because they were working. You're, you're looking at all of these things. And so I feel like when even when it comes to relationships, you're looking at that younger child within yourself, okay? And you're going back and you're addressing some of those issues, issues of abandonment, issues of uh, rejection. I feel like some of you um, may be finally deciding um, that you may need to seek counsel for any sexual or emotional or physical abuse that you uh, endured during your childhood. This is, a, this is an intense month, I'm telling you guys. When you get five major arcana cards, expect there's some intense energies going on. Um, I feel like, if, you know, if it's not you, it may be your mate, which in return is going to affect you if they're going through it, okay? Uh, let me get another card. Heart chakra, yes. It's time for you to, um, it's, it's uh, you're addressing those issues of the heart that have caused you pain, that has caused, caused you to shut down your ability to fully love and surrender. I feel like for some of you, um, you may this may be reflecting. Maybe you didn't even notice it, but now you're noticing it in your children. Some of the things that you were taught, or some or some of the behaviors that was the, displayed towards you, you're starting to make the connection that you're doing this towards your children. So it's a again, it's a very intense month. Shine. It, it's the sun. Everything that needs to be revealed is coming out during the month of November. I feel like within finances, I feel like I like this car. You have the full car. Be willing and ready to try something that you've never tried before when it comes to your finances. I feel like some of you may be making a big purchase that may not be, it may be a, a last minute purchase or a, just a, 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 a whimsical type of purchase, but you're just, just like, fuck it. I'm going to just do it. I have the money. Why not? You know, I, I really feel like some of you are really letting go and um, developing or embracing a, a more spont a spontaneous side of yourself, that spontaneous side. Um, some of you are taking more risk. And I mean, I feel like Capricorns do take risks, but they're calculated risks. But I feel like with this, I feel like you will be making a calculated risk this month. OK, um, I feel like you're you're getting money and you're moving it towards something in hopes that it's going to bring something um, a, a greater return back to you. Or it could be a purchase. I feel like for some of you, you're making a, a, a purchase that other people may seem fool, may It may seem foolish to other people, but it's for your enjoyment. And you're just like, you know what? I don't care what anybody else says. I'm going to do this for me. And this makes me happy. So what? What do you have to say about it? Okay. Um, let me get one more card. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you are, you get, I got the release card. Your how you view money and how you hold on to money. So you're, you're letting it just fly and just go because again, this is all about you changing your reality and letting you in uh, and understanding that holding on, if you can't, you can't receive if your, your hand is closed. And so I feel like for a lot of you, look at all of these cards, every card, Within the shine card, her hands are open. The manifest card, his hands is open. Energy is flowing through. He understands that if, if he wants energy to move through, your hands have to be open. Your hands cannot be clasped if you're expecting for energy to fly, to come through you. Okay? Um, <clears throat> you're releasing blockages during the month of November. I feel like even here, 
with the confront, I mean, I'm sorry, the trust card. She's open. Everything's open. She's going with her heart first. You even have the heart chakra here in your love section. So this is, you're releasing a lot of pain in order to feel more, more energetically free. You're trying to get back to a place of balance, to a place of my eye. I feel like um, even here with the release card, his chest is open. He's, re he's releasing. OK, what no longer serves him. This these inner child issues, uh, childhood wounds, childhood trauma. The, you're understanding that and this could be for people. I don't care how old you are, 40, 50, 60, 70. I don't know. 90 years old. If you're watching these videos, you're realizing that you are still dealing with these issues and they're coming out. You have to address them. It's never too late to address them. OK. Um, yes. Even with health, you have the control card, which is equivalent to the strength card. I feel like you are bracing yourself for this because you feel it. I feel like a lot of my Capricorns, you knew you knew that one day that this was going to come. I just don't think you thought it was going to be this month. But it's here and it you cannot you cannot um get rid of it. I feel like for some of you, you know it's not going to go anywhere because I feel like the the spirit and I feel like the creator is just knocking on your door like I'm here. You've been saying you've been wanting this to you've been wanting to 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 release some of this and you don't know why you've been feeling this way and you you're ready for a brighter day. I'm here. What you gonna do? Okay. And so now you this is you bracing yourself and calming yourself down because in 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 some way you did manifest this to your life, but it's for good reason. OK, because it's now it's now time for your soul to elevate and it's time. It's more time. It's time for you. I'm sorry, guys. It's time for. Your consciousness to to elevate and for your soul to ascend. Um, look how she's up in the air. She's lifted. She's elevating. OK, it's time now. It's time for you to move forward. We have allowed you to sit here for as long as you want it to in your comfort level. But now it's time for you to change. And I feel like for some of you, you know, that's why I, you're making that connection that, you know, all of these crazy little um, things that's going on within your environment, relationships, job, whatever, money, stuff, just stuff not right. Um, it, it's Those were signals to you, but I don't feel like you were picking them up. Um, I feel like, you know, little things were happening and, and you were just looking at it as like, whoa, why is me? Blah, blah, blah. But now you didn't get it. You didn't get the, you didn't make the connection. So now everything is coming to you at one time. I don't feel like it's a bad month, guys. I just, it's going to be strong. I feel like the energy is very strong, but I do feel like you are strong enough to weather it. If you do not allow yourself to, don't, don't succumb to a victim mentality. You have to think about this as what can I learn from this? Not why is this happening to me? This is not the time for that type of attitude. If you develop that, if you maintain that type of attitude, you will not move to the next step and you will be stuck here and things will feel more intense than what they are now. OK, so it's very important for you to temper your feelings, to get control of your emotions, excuse me, to get control of your emotions and, and get yourself centered. Look how she's looking dead on like, listen, I'm ready to take this. Get control. It's time for you to get control back of your life with your self-care card. Truth. Again, truth. Um. I like this card. I like it because let me tell you what the back says. It says, tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. I know you can't see the words because it's backwards. But what I like about this card, remember I said that you're trying to get back to a place of living within my uh living my eye and having your heart light as a feather. I don't know if I said light, of, light as a feather earlier, but I'm saying it now. You, this is what's happening, okay? You're releasing some of that hurt and that pain and that resentment, that blame, whatever that is, that neglect, whatever you, you're feeling to, to make your heart a lighter place, okay? Um, and I feel like for some of you, it, in order to do that, you're going to have to tackle those issues that you push to the side. With this card, if you guys notice, she looks like she's in a creek or a marsh. Um, 
I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie The Gift. Um, it was a movie that came out maybe 10, 15, 10, 15 years ago, and it had um, I think it had Kate Blanchett, and she was a she was a she was a psychic. She was a clairvoyant, and in that movie, and it just it this really doesn't have anything to do with the thing with with the reading, but this scene reminds me of that. Um, it take it took place I believe in Louisiana, and um, well. It just reminds me of a scene in that movie because she had a dream in that movie. And um, it looked like that that gate in the background. I don't know if you can see that, this gate. But anyway, I like the fact that, see, this woman is, she's sitting, she's standing on a lily pad. And, um, you know, lily pads are leaves, uh, essentially. And we all know that a human body is essentially too too heavy to stand on a lily pad in a body of water and not sink. But I feel like what this card is trying to say it, to me is almost like if this is the of the deck. I don't know if this uh, deck. I don't believe this deck has like major arcana cards or anything. But if it did, this card would represent like the justice card for me, or even maybe the sun. But it it. I like the fact that she's able to balance because she is so spiritually light. There is no denial within her soul that she is able to, she's able to sit here on a bunch of lily pads and not sink. I feel like that is your, that is your goal during the month of November Capricorns is to not sink to the bottom of the river of your emotions. Damn, that was good. That wasn't me. Okay. Um, you don't want to sing. You have to get a hold of this. And I like the little cat here, the white cat. And this is, oh, and she has a, tr a butterfly. So you are, I don't know if you can see, there's a little butterfly right there on her shoulder. And when I told you it feels like the spirit is pushing you to do this, that butterfly, there's a transformation coming. So don't be afraid. You got to tackle this thing head on, guys. You you have everything that you need and you're more, more than capable and your, your power is there within you. You just have to know that you can do this and push through these energies that's coming in the month of November. And remember that it's for your the uplifting of your soul, okay? It's not to, to bring you down. It's not to keep you down. It's none of that. It's to bring you into a place of a, um, a more, more positive environment, a more positive spirit, and to bring you back into a place of balance. All right, guys, if this resonates with you, all of my information is down in the bottom. I would love to read for you. Thank you and have a wonderful November. Bye.